black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's subscriber sponsored request coming in from Tatiana. She's requiring for me Salvadorian food, her heritage food. She was hoping I could make some pupusas and curtido. So we've got the processor, the pork, the cheese, all the veg, the beans, and the flour back there to slap together some pupusas and curtido. So let's get into this. Okay, curtido. From what I can tell, curtido is basically a pickled cabbage or like a pickled coleslaw. Got the bushido blade out today. Half this bad boy. Okay, cabbage in the bowl. All right, next up, shaved carrot. Get aggressive and shave that carrot. Okay, go ahead and add those to your cabbage. All right, next up, half an onion with a nice fine chop. All right, just slice half my nail off, so we're gonna chill out a little bit here. But yes, thin onion, half an onion, into the mix. Okay, into the mix. Okay, warm water, vinegar, apple cider, and we mix. Okay, a bunch of salt and oregano, and we mix again. All right, curtido, made. Put that in the fridge and let it cool. All right, a couple of side pieces to get to to execute the rest of this whole mission. First things first, we have to make some mushy formable cheese. So I just got some mozzarella here. Can use anything that's, you know, white and will go mushy for you. So I'm just gonna chop it into some cubes and then we're gonna pop it in the microwave for like 10, 20 seconds maybe. And then we're going to make it into almost like a Play-Doh of cheese. Okay, here we go. This took about actually about a minute overall with time. But there you go. That's what you want. A nice melty down formable cheese to swoosh into the pupusa when we go to make them. All right, for the chicharron, the pork, we gotta get this into this dish here real quick. Okay, salt, lemon, and garlic. Okay, mix it in. I'm gonna give that a little minute. Okay, we're gonna make a simple tomato salsa. Name on high, pot of water on, tomatoes, into the water and we're gonna bring that up to a little boil all right so we gotta go ahead and fry off this pork to make our chicharron at least the step one of it chicharron however you want to say it all right let's go ahead and check on our pork oh yeah coming along crisping up nice just to be certain, because it's pork, I'm gonna give it another minute or two. Okay, so these tomatoes for the salsa are nice and stewed, skins are coming off, they're good and soft, and that means they're ready to whip up in the processor. So do that, a little bit of the water. Go ahead and put a chicken bouillon cube in. Pop the top and we spin. All right, we got our crispy fried pork into the processor. We have our green and red peppers to blend in, add a little moisture, and we'll start with that much. Okay, pop that top on, and we go. Okay, so we have our chicharron, our pork vegetable pate, essentially, right? 
nice and formable for inside of the pupusa. All right, processor working overtime today. We got our washed black beans in, along with half an onion. Dash of water as a little helper. Get to a pulse. Okay, we gotta go ahead and fry these beans. High flame, pan on, canola oil, a good amount. Okay, fry up these beans. Coming along, coming along, but not quite there. I'll let you know when we are. All right, I think we're pretty close. Just so it's, you can use it easily in forming. Okay, pupusa dough. Literally just flour and room temp water, but it's all about the consistency. So we're gonna have to be careful with this one. I'm just going in with like two cups, roughly, flour. And I'm gonna slowly add the water because I don't want to over water, but I don't want to under water either. Okay, so my dough is not exactly perfect here. I wish it was a bit softer, a little more malleable, but I think it should do the, the trick. So I'm just gonna lay it out into a pretty flat circle as much as I can, pretty thin. Let me come on in with a chunk of cheese, chicharron, a little bit of beans. We'll go ahead and pull this up and in. Kind of like a dumpling. Pull it up. Try to make a bunch at the top here. And then work that top to where you have a, like a pocket of the goodness to where it's closed off. Do some spins or whatever you gotta do. And then get this extra dough up to the top. Because my dough is not that soft, I'm just going to snip it there. So you have like a dumpling. And then what you're going to want to do, a tiny little bit of oil. And just use it to work around. And you work yourself out flat. Like a nice, I don't know, dumpling pancake type deal. bit breaking through there but that's fine and there you have it a pupusa so we're going to make a few more of these repeat process until your heart's content or you run out of dough and then we're going to go ahead and give these a quick fry and some oil in a pan and then we're eating okay time to fry off these pupusas so i'm just going to put them on a, like a nice little low flame pan on and then we just want to kind of smoosh it around the pan just to coat the bottom a little bit and then we bring in our pupusas and let them slowly brown up okay we're uh, I don't know, about two or three minutes in here for a toast there we go looking good looking perfect I like it Ah, that was my ugliest one that I tried to close up. It didn't work out quite great, but these ones, all good. I had to have one fail to understand how to do the rest. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and plate these up. Ugly duckling down first. Let me bring in the beautiful ones, of course. Gotta showcase the nice ones. <laughs> we must bring in the curtido. So basically our pickled cabbage slaw. Gonna give it a little hint of the juice. And then we come in with a couple sides of our simple tomato salsa. And there we have it. The pupusas, bean, cheese, chicharron mixture, fried off with our simple salsa and curtido. There you go, let's get into this. Yo, what up? What is good with y'all? Welcome to today's video. Another subscriber sponsored request. We're just banging them out, knocking them out, but I do still have a list. Today though, Salvadorian food, pupusas. It's very fun to say. And then of course, curtido, as you guys saw come together. This is a big shout out to Tati, Tatiana. 
she came through the email saying, you know, I've been a fan for a while. I'm kind of silent, but uh, if you could find a place that would, you know, you could procure this food. And I just said to her, like, I could just honor your heritage and make it from scratch because I don't think I'm going to find it in my blue collar, predominantly white town in Canada. Okay, so I went ahead and took the uh, proper precautions to honor the heritage and make this from scratch. So I did cut a portion of my finger off, just, just a bit of my nail. It wasn't too bad. And uh, so I'm eating with a <laughs> Michael Jackson glove today. But uh, she also said that they have uh, usually a soda with it that's like cream soda. Now, the one that she gets, obviously, I can't find. So this is a really good cream soda in Canada, Jones. It's a clear one, cream soda. And before we do anything more, we must pour the cream soda because that is what they honor this meal with. And I'm trying to get to these pupusas as hot as possible so that the cheese has some nice melt to it inside. And I'm intrigued to try it. I've learned a few things during the process of, of making this. Might elaborate on those as we go, but I'm definitely intrigued to try that. So, a first sip. Oh my God. I haven't had one of these in years. It is such a good cream soda. If you can find it, absolutely try it. Also, under the lid, you get a little message. And this one says, send a friend a handwritten letter. Which I won't be doing because my uh, penmanship is illegible. <laughs> okay, pupusa, dough, filled with stuff. Designed, I believe, to be pulled open and you receive the beautiful center. So a little pocket of joy with the mozzarella and I'm going to go in with the salsa dip, the consomme, the pollo consomme salsa. Oh man, <clears throat> I'm very glad I uh, salted the pork mix. I tasted it, it was too bland and it needed salt. Oh man. Mmm. Oh man, that's so delicious. That's just like street comfort food. Wow. I was so skeptical. Of the salsa. With just the tomato and the, and the chicken bouillon. so flavorful and just simple in the best way possible mm. so that one I made extra cheesy with just the uh, chicharron that one didn't have bean on my next one here, we're gonna get some bean and we're gonna try 
the curtido with it. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have bites of the curtido to kind of cut the cheesiness. Or is this the extra cheesy one? Oh, this might be the extra cheesy one. Mmm. So let's go ahead and do this. It's gonna like fold the piece. I'm gonna just accompany it. trifecta mm. that's really nice <clears throat> look at that so good this is definitely the extra cheesy one what I like is with this you get the sweet richness, tomato, a little acid, and then with this, you get the vinegar cut. Thank you for putting me onto this. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. What I will say is this. For a dish, that comes out on presentation looking extremely basic and simple it's a lot of work it was not a you know there's a lot of process a lot of steps <clears throat> just a lot of preparation that goes into these this is my first one this is the ugly duckling I had to go through one trial and error to understand the technique. Of the proper closure and the uh, right level of thinness for the dough. This one's definitely got a thicker exterior. I think you're supposed to use maseka, which is a, a corn flour. I couldn't find it. I went to the store. I looked everywhere. Could not find it. So I think that's the difference. I think... The fact that I'm using an all-purpose is the difference between a really proper papusa dough um, as opposed to just 
just regular standard flour. So in the future, I would go on the hunt harder to try and get my sick of flour. That was so good. I'm full. Just super enjoyable. I'm at that point. Satisfied. Those were more delicious than I had anticipated. which in my world is always welcome. Fully accept that. Okay, a little messy, a little Michael, but Tati, I hope you enjoyed that one. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.